What's up, guys? This is Chris with BenoBaseballCards.com. As you've heard over a hundred times now. Um, I just uh, had to run some errands, so on the way back I stopped at Target and Walmart, both in the area, to check on the uh, the Bowman situation. I still only have my one uh, blaster box left that's still sealed, factory sealed. Uh, well, I do plan on selling it on uh, eBay, but that will be some time from now. I want to see what the prices are going to do. Uh, if it ends up going down, I'm going to open that box and I'll end up doing a video for it. But uh, it's going to be some time before those prices change at all, if they even do change. But I went to Target first because they have a better selection of cards here in this particular area. And I got three Target cereal boxes. And I got two cereal boxes at Walmart. And the difference in those, I'll point out right here, you can see this pre-priced right here, this $9.99 on three of these boxes but it's not over here on these boxes because Target does pre-priced boxes and Walmart doesn't because Walmart sells them for $9.98 so if they had $9.99 on them that would just cause problems with some of those penny pension customers that go in there um, just specifically to find problems wrong with the pricing so that's, a, that's one quick way to tell the difference in uh, which one's Walmart which one's Target the other quick way to tell the difference is the uh, picture on the side all the Target boxes have uh, gold refractors. Series 1 has the Gehrig and Series 2 has the Mantle. And the uh, Walmart ones have the Platinum, otherwise known as Silver. Uh, I don't know why they decided to trump it up and call them Platinum, but it also has a Gehrig on Series 1 and a Mantle on Series 2, but they're different photos. But that is uh, another quick way to tell. I'm going to try to open as many of these as I can, and when I run out of time, I, I might just let the video just continue, and I'll just do it in two parts, but that would be the fastest way to do it. We will open up the Series 1 Target box first. or Yeah, Series 1 Target box, pre-priced. I'll breeze through these base cards real quick. I'll breeze through these base cards real quick just so you guys, if I find anything fantastic, you guys will know about it. Oh, they're almost all upside down. How about that? <clears throat> Mark to share a gold card. 1336 out of 2010. Mike Schmidt, regular back, card your mom threw out. First televised game, Ozzy Smith, Turkey Red. There's a code card. Keep those off to the side. Prince Fielder, Tales of the Game, Mike Schmidt, Evan Longoria, Legendary Lineage, George Sisler, Peak Performance, and Adam Jones, Ticket to Topstown, First Class or Gold. Um, make sure if you guys happen to hear me say gold that you pay attention in the video if it's possible to know that I'm talking about Ticket to, ticket to Topstown versus talking about gold uh, border. And as for the rest of these commons, I don't see anything. There's a regular Teixeira. Smarja. I know Smarja has a, uh, an Abe Lincoln version, and I believe where this red dot is over here in the photo, I'm not right, really sure why. I believe that's where Lincoln is CGI'd into Smarja's photo. I believe he's one of the four Cubs that does have him. Bradley is obviously one where Abe is uh, put into the scoreboard. You know what? Keep these inserts off to the side. There's another one. Oh, I can't think of their names. Sure enough, right when I need them, I can't think of their names. Well, here's a good start. Target means gold. Derek Jeter. Gold Chrome. Derek Jeter. Target. I believe the official name of it is uh, <clears throat> Target Legends of the Game. Gold. Chrome, or yeah, gold chrome refractor. That's the official name. Because the number is GC, so it is gold chrome at least. So I got a Jeter for one. Let's do. Well, let's not mix them up. Let's do another Target box. This is Series 2, so these are the new ones. I did one Series 1 to see if I get anything good, and sure enough, I did. I got the probably the best card you could get. Because I do believe Jeter is priced the same as um, Babe Ruth. 
I'm just going by memory on that. I'm not really positive. And as I said in previous videos, I do believe that the uh, Ticket to Topstown cards have been somewhat replaced by the uh, Tops of Tax inserts. Because I have not seen a Tops of... Uh, I have not seen a... Uh, wow, that's horrible. That's horribly off. I haven't seen a uh, Ticket to Topstown card in Series 2 yet. goes a lot faster when I just look through the cards myself. Manny Ramirez, regular back to cards your mom threw out. Ty Cobb, Vintage Legends. Um, speaking of Vintage Legends, I do have some uh, scans, front and back scans of some of the Vintage Legends cards and some of the um, oh, what's the other one? Turkey Red. That's I started at the bottom of the list. There's another code card. If I have enough time on the video, I'll stick that in the end. I'll, I'll stop it and run those codes. Jackie Robinson, Turkey Red. Nice. Mike Schmidt and A-Rod, Legendary Lineage. George Kell, Peak Performance. Evan Longoria, 2020. Sizemore Attacks. And some more common cards. And I don't know of any... Still don't know of any short print photo short prints in uh, Series 2 yet, so anybody that finds any information out that I don't know about, or even if you just want to tell everybody, uh, put it in one of the comment boxes below, and I see all the comments that get posted. They, they Each comment that gets posted sends me an email. <clears throat> so I look at all the comments to make sure that there's no questions in there, and if there's questions, I, I do the best I can to answer them. I guess I should, end, I should open this refractor, huh? Willie McCovey Gold Chrome. Willie McCovey. Pretty good first baseman for the uh, Giants, I do believe. Never got to see him play or anything. I'm a little young for that. I do know that he is highly touted. Dusky. Of the corners of all these cards are dinged in that whole box. Yeah, this is the fourth or fifth time this has happened to me, so I no longer recommend cereal boxes for, for base cards. Um, the chrome card is somewhat protected because it's individually wrapped and it sets itself in a different position in the box, but every one of these cards on this corner is dinged, every single one of them. And that is absolutely ridiculous for $10. Whether you guys can see that or not, I don't know. Um, but just looking at it is extremely discouraging to me. I spent ten dollars on this box to just get damaged cards. And it makes it even worse when you turn around and find something good in one of these boxes. Regular back, oh, Mel Ott, Vintage Legends, Code Card, Tom Seaver, Turkey Red, Brock and Crawford, Thurman Munson, Peak Performance, Chris Coughlin, Chipper Jones. Wow. Thank God I didn't get any SPs in that box. I'd have been super mad. <laughs> 